Neelam, amid the alarming rates of hate crime across the nation, what do you believe are the reasons for that behaviour and division? I think a lot of it comes down to um, miscommunication and a lack of actual real understanding of some of these issues. People are very quick to play the race card and actually use race as a way to um, explain bad things that are happening yeah. to them. And I think so much emphasis has been put on that because of Brexit. Um, and people don't understand fully what Brexit is either. Yeah. So they just blame the easiest thing. And we become a scapegoat then, which then adds to hate crime yeah. and escalates issues further. Yeah. And just staying on that topic of Brexit, what do you believe is the key to unifying communities, particularly amid the unrest that Brexit is actually causing? I think, um, especially Birmingham, have really been trying to unite communities by doing community fund days, etc. But it, it extends beyond that, it extends to um, an educational level. And I think it comes from primary school upwards. You know, we need to educate about I mean, people still don't understand what Brexit is, what, yeah. it, what it's about. Um, and people have still got this impression that foreigners are taking jobs and that adds to all this speculation of hate crime and, and this misconception that people are coming in, taking jobs and therefore other people are losing money. Um, so I think that's a, a lot of the issue around it. And I mean, looking ahead, what do you believe are, I guess, the biggest challenges facing Stop Hate UK? Generally, I think there's um, a lack of understanding of there's not just hate crime out there. There's a lot of different types of crimes. Um, one thing that we've noticed um, alarmingly is there's three big ones that have come up is um, mate crime, um, LGBT related crime and um, disability related, yeah. which has been really interesting because the trends in them have always um, statistically always been quite low, but recently in the last few years have actually picked up. So mate crime relates to when you're a friend with someone and then you financially or emotionally, physically exploit them. And that's happening actually more and more with the whole, um, the way the economic um, recession's been yeah. going on and austerity, that's happening more and more often, but people don't report it as a hate crime because they don't know. And that comes back to education again.